I'm Claire from Creative The Ottaway. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! here in the UK. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little make this week. There's a lot going on in my household. We're having the kitchen remodelled. The days are shorter and you know how it is sometimes. Life just gets in the way. But I promised that I would do a weekly video craft along. So that's what I intend to try my best to do. So this week we've got this little make. It's like a, you could use it for a Christmas tree decoration. Um, that's what it's like in white with, I've stamped all over. Um, hopefully you can see that because the lighting is not the greatest in my house today. Um, I've used the oval punch as well just to put sentiment on and I've put some ribbon on the top so that it can hang on the tree. Basically it's some origami. I'll just show you this one. Um, this is one made with some designer series paper. Actually it's last year's designer series paper but you can see how effective it looks if you're, you're just wanting to use up some of your beautiful papers. And what's really nice with the Stampin' Up! papers is that there is a pattern on both sides, so you get to see both. Now this would hold a Ferrero Rocher or a Lint chocolate or something along those lines. You can replicate it any size you want, just use square paper. So this is six by six. But if you've done, I don't know, 12 by 12, um, 9 by 9, 8 by 8, you could have all sorts of different sizes. And what happens when you open it, um, let's see if I open this one. Um, you could use it as a table decoration as well because it does sort of sit quite nicely. But you just open it up and you can see how much room there is inside. Can you see how lovely that paper is? Okay, so we're going to make one, just a white one. And I'm going to stamp all over it just to show you how I've done that. So I'm going to use Sparkle of the Season stamp set. And I, as it's Christmas, I'm going to use that little snowflake stamp just all over. So I'm going to use a colour that will hopefully show up for you. Um, let's have a look. Shall we use... How about some misty moonlight? Haven't used that for a while. So let's use some misty moonlight. And the great thing is you can stamp off with it as well. So I've just got the little snowflakes and I'm just going to repeat the pattern all over. Okay. Um, another one there. You can make it as busy or as plain as you like. Um, it's going to be folded so many times, you're not really going to notice too much the pattern. So I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. Let's do that one there. I feel like there needs to be one there, one there. I'm just going to stamp off with that one. Ooh. And then one there. Just going a little bit round the edge, just so there's some coming off the edge. Like so. And I think that will do. So, like I said, six by six piece of um, basic white cardstock. Turn it over so your pattern is face down. And we are just going to fold it in half that way. So... I would recommend that you use a bone folder because you really need, need some nice crisp folds on there. So turn it over and do it both sides. Then open it out, turn it around sideways and that is going to go there, up to that way. So you've made like four squares on your piece of paper. Turn it over and just press really firm on that side as well and open it up. Now you're going to turn it diagonal and just join that to that. So you're again folding it in half to make a triangle and just burnish those folds, like I say, on both sides so you've got nice crisp edges. Open it up, turn it round the other way 
and fold it in half again. Okay. And just make sure that it all meets up and burnish it again. Okay. So you could make this to suit your um, Christmas table decor. Um, Stamping Up have got some beautiful papers this year. So why wouldn't you use those? Okay, so when you open it out, you can see basically there's a line across in every piece. So it sort of cuts it into triangles. So that's got four triangles and that's got four triangles. Now, what you need to do now is think about one um, corner. So put your finger where one corner is. And then you're going to fold this side in to halfway. So just where that line goes across, you're going to meet it. Just make sure you don't go over the line. And then when you're happy, fold that. So it's a bit like half of a kite. I'm just going to fold the other side the same. So you've got one side is folded up turn it and do the other side to meet it so that is going to go there like so and then just burnish that down the same on both sides so you can see it looks like a kite shape okay so when you're happy with that open it and you can see your fold lines so all of those folds meet at that point there so if you turn your paper to the next point and do exactly the same again. So just be really careful where you want your fold to be. And do it on this point. Okay. Both sides again, you really need to burnish it. And then do the opposite side again. And that will just make that kite shape again that we like. Like so, and then turn it over and burnish it both sides. And then, when you're happy, turn that so you can see it goes to that corner, it now goes to this corner. So, we'll do this one. You can tell the corner you haven't done because when you go to fold, it doesn't want to fold, you've got to force it. So, we're going to continue with the third corner all the way to there. And just make sure the white card is quite tricky for you to see, I think, on camera, especially the reflection of the light. Okay, that's one half of the kite. And we're just going to do that half to there. I really like working with six by six paper, um, just because you get a nice, it's a nice manageable size. So we've done that one, we've done that one, and this one, and there's one more to do. So that will go there, do exactly the same again, and we're nearly there. Okay, burnish it on that side, burnish it on that side. I'm really undecided whether I prefer it with the designer series paper or with my own pattern stamped all over it. I mean, this version is just a really quick showing you what you can do with the stamping but you could go mad okay so i have done the kite in all four corners and i'm just going to go around and check that i have so you can just fold it and it, you can tell that you've got a kite in all four corners so now what i do is i turn it over and you can see there's a big triangle there that almost wants to fold on itself so you do that side spin it round, push the next triangle in, spin it round and you can see there's another triangle here and then turn it round on the last one and that's the fourth triangle so you end up with this sort of star shape like that. Okay now if you pick it up at opposite corners and just push in the bottom these automatically go in this one comes in here, this one comes in here, and that is your shape. Can you see? How cute is that? And where I've stamped, I'm trying to hold it together so you can see, 
it's just a lovely, lovely shape. Okay, which hopefully you can tell. Now, a couple of things. If you want to put something inside, because you could just have them as hanging tree decorations like that, what you need to do is trim down some of these sides because you could get something in there, but there's not a lot of room. So what I tend to do is just trim. You don't, you need to leave some of the triangle. So you just trim in a little bit off. So if I show you what I've cut off, I've cut off that sort of size. So when I fold it, it still folds in, but there's less bulk in the middle. Okay, less bulk in there. And the other thing I do, um, I use my pokey tool on the corners here to make a hole. So can you see on this one, I've done a hole. So where your line comes down about half an inch, something like that, just make a hole there in each four corners. Push that middle down. And then you can hang your decoration like this. And then the oval punch is particularly good because it will go around two of the um, legs or two of the stars. And that is it. Job done. So I hope you have enjoyed that very quick tutorial tonight with the free Christmas decorations, table decorations, whatever you want to use them for. But with just a six by six piece of paper. I hope you've loved watching and crafting along with me. If you do want to see more, just subscribe and I will catch up with you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.